Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Krieger and I am the director of the Heart and Vascular Center here at Dartmouth-Hitchcock and a past president of the American Heart Association. I would like to speak to you today about your heart health and the steps you can take to reduce your risk of heart disease. Here in the United States, cardiovascular disease remains the single most common cause of death, accounting for over 850,000 deaths each year. Over one in 10 of all adults have some form of heart disease, such as heart attacks, heart failure, or diseased heart valves. And the percentage of those affected increases with age. The good news is that we have been making progress, as there has been about a 14% decrease in death from heart and vascular disease in the past decade. But despite this improvement, cardiovascular disease still claims more lives each year than cancer and chronic lung disease combined. Heart disease affects everyone, men and women alike. Heart disease is a woman's greatest health threat and their number one killer and all racial and ethnic groups are affected. The risk of heart disease is particularly increased among those who are socially and economically deprived. The COVID-19 pandemic has worsened the outlook. There has been an increase across our country in deaths attributed to heart disease, in part because fewer patients are going to the hospital for heart-related problems. As an example, out-of-hospital cardiac arrest more than doubled in 2020 compared to 2019. Data suggests that patients elect to shelter in place while enduring symptoms of heart disease. Many remain fearful of being infected by the virus if they go to the hospital and are avoiding urgent evaluation for unstable cardiac conditions. These men and women are at risk of dying at home or suffering severe complications of heart attacks that could have been prevented with timely intervention. With these facts in mind, I strongly encourage you to seek care if you are having symptoms such as chest pain that doesn't go away after a few minutes, or new discomfort in the jaw, shoulders, or arms, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, and even nausea or a cold sweat. These are all signals that something might be wrong. Hospitals are safe and prepared to accept emergency patients while keeping them protected. If you think you are having a heart attack, call 911 and come to the hospital. Despite these staggering statistics and these uncertain times, there are steps we can all take to help our hearts. These are defined by the American Heart Association as life's simple seven, or seven approaches to staying heart healthy. It is important to recognize that people who take these steps to improve their heart health have a substantially reduced risk for heart-related death. Your physician and other medical professionals are there to help. The simple seven break down like this. Number one, manage your blood pressure. High blood pressure is a major risk factor. When your blood pressure stays within healthy ranges, you reduce the strain on your heart, arteries, and kidneys. Number two, control cholesterol. High cholesterol causes plaque, which clogs arteries and leads to heart attacks and strokes. Number three, reduce blood sugar. Over time, high blood sugar can damage your heart, kidneys, eyes, and nerves. Number four, get active. Simply put, daily physical activity increases your length and quality of life. Number five, eat better. A heart-healthy diet is one of your best weapons for fighting cardiovascular disease. Number six, lose weight. By getting rid of the excess fat, you reduce the burden on your heart, lung, and blood vessels. Losing weight also naturally lowers your blood pressure. And number seven, stop smoking. Cigarette smokers have a higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease. If you smoke, quitting is the best thing you can do for your health. I'd like to wrap up by encouraging all of you to learn more and share more during Heart Month. Our team will be kicking off the month with special heart and vascular events. While COVID-19 has changed the look of this annual event, we are focused now more than ever on sharing this important information. 
Thank you.